so as you remember like we worked with this and we use flatten and stuff so let's me use flatten again or let me do something as such if i grab a flatten component and if i connect it over here another misconception is basically having a graph so if i right click to this it will make everything working right or if i pull out a graph component it will take everything back to the normal like this one because we start with this and we flatten this and we have that right and then when we have a graph let's see what would happen you see now everything turned into a data sort of a branch right everything goes into a single or separated branches so when i connect this to here you see there's nothing changed and it we have like another kind of a mess here because now every point that i'm putting here tries to connect to the ones that are below and then like it's a really really complicated data structure here so what we want to do actually if you again i'm telling you you don't need to use flatten please try to avoid using flatten. and then graph is not helping you to fix what flatten causes okay this is one thing and if you really really want to use something to flatten and then you want to take things back you need to use something called unflatten okay and then if you connect this to unflatten it will ask you a guide and this is your guide then if you put this in you take this back to the normal so like the original data structure why don't we why don't we put some panels on top of it and like original data let's say control c control v original data flatten graft and unflatten so this is like basically in between sort of graft and unflatten obviously if you right click to this and say graft you'll see something completely different which I'll be explaining in my in the next video. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.